Now we'll go back up to the top and look at the nerves. Four nerves surround the axillary artery as it emerges from beneath pectoralis minor. They're the muscular cutaneous, the median, the ulna, and the radial. We'll look at them in that order. Here's the muscular cutaneous nerve. It supplies three flexor muscles in the arm, the first of which is a shoulder flexor, coracobrachialis. The muscular cutaneous nerve runs right through coracobrachialis and emerges here, deep to the biceps. It runs down the arm between biceps and brachialis, supplying both muscles. It emerges here to become the lateral cutaneous nerve of the forearm. The median nerve and the ulnar nerve both run all the way down to the elbow without supplying anything. They start out close together. Halfway down the arm, they diverge. The median nerve stays close to the brachial artery, crossing in front of it. At the elbow, it lies medial to the artery. It dives down between the brachialis tendon and pronator teres and passes between the two heads of pronator teres to enter the forearm. The ulnar nerve slants backwards. It runs down just medial to the triceps tendon and behind the medial epicondyle. It turns a sharp corner round the underside of the medial epicondyle where there's a fibrous tunnel for it. It passes between the two heads of flexor carpi ulnaris to enter the forearm. Once they get below the elbow, the median and ulnar nerves get busy. Between them, they supply all the flexor and pronator muscles of the forearm. Of the muscles that we've seen already, the median nerve supplies four, pronator teres, flexor carpi radialis, palmaris longus, and pronator quadratus. The ulnar nerve supplies one muscle that we've seen so far, flexor carpi ulnaris. Lastly, let's look at the radial nerve. It has a long spiral course from here round to here. Up here, the radial nerve lies behind all the other nerves and vessels. Just below the latissimus tendon, it runs back between the long head and medial head of triceps. To follow its course, we need to go right round to the back and find the same spot again from behind. Here's the long head of triceps, here's the medial head, and here's the radial nerve. To see where it goes next, we'll remove the long head of triceps. As the radial nerve passes round the humerus, it lies right on the bone. It runs between the medial and lateral heads of triceps, then runs beneath the lateral head to emerge here, still right on the bone, just above brachia radialis. Under cover of brachia radialis, it reaches the lateral epicondyle, where it divides into a deep or motor branch and a superficial or sensory branch. That's as far as we'll follow the radial nerve for now. Of the muscles that we've seen, the radial nerve supplies the triceps, anconius, brachioradialis, all three wrist extensors, and supinator. Now, let's move on to look at the vessels and nerves of the region. We'll go from the shoulder to just below the elbow. First, we'll look at the veins. Many superficial veins from the forearm converge just below the elbow to form two large veins, the basilic and the cephalic. The cephalic vein stays at a superficial level as it runs up the arm over the biceps. At the top of the arm, it lies between the deltoid and pectoralis major. The large vein crossing the front of the elbow is the antecubital vein. It crosses from the cephalic to the basilic vein. The basilic vein then runs up the medial aspect of the arm to join this brachial vein, which is one of a pair. The two brachial veins join together as they pass up the arm. 
here they are joining, to become one brachial vein. The name of this vein then changes. Up here, it becomes the axillary vein. To get a good look at it proximally, we'll remove pectoralis major. Here's the axillary vein running alongside the median nerve and the axillary artery and disappearing with them behind pectoralis minor. Now let's look at the artery and the principal nerves of the arm. From here on the veins which run parallel to the arteries have been removed to simplify the picture. Here's the main artery, the axillary artery. It emerges from beneath pectoralis minor surrounded by major nerves. As it passes into the arm, its name changes. From here on down, it's the brachial artery. Here, right next to the latissimus tendon, it gives off a large branch, the deep brachial or profunda brachii, which passes backward deep to the triceps. Along with it goes the radial nerve, which we'll see in a minute. The brachial artery runs down the medial side of the arm alongside the brachialis muscle. The median nerve crosses over the artery. The brachial artery passes beneath the bicipital aponeurosis, which we'll remove. Alongside the biceps tendon, the brachial artery divides into the two major arteries of the forearm, the radial and the ulnar. The radial artery stays quite superficial. It runs down the forearm between pronator teres and brachioradialis. The ulnar artery has a much deeper course. It dives down alongside the brachialis tendon and passes deep to pronator teres. We'll leave the arteries there. We'll see their further course in the next section.